Okay, so in this video I am playing Elite Dangerous in VR with voice attack using the HDS voice packs for Verity and Astra as well as the Oscillus plugin for voice attack which gives me access to functions like uploading market data and um, automatically finding my keybinds for the game without having to use explicit keybinds from the voice packs um, which kind of take take away some of your freedom and uh, play style especially in VR when you have to use their keybinds so that their software uh, doesn't have to be reconfigured using the Oscillus voice pack it will find your keybinds that you're currently using regardless of if they match the original settings provided from the voice packs and allow the voice packs to still work as intended but keeping your custom uh, configuration. Let's see, so first thing I need to do is uh, right now uh, since I just started this recording I'm in OBS as my active uh, window so I have to say focus game Focus game. There we go. You have to leave a pause between the beginning and the end of the command so that it can tell when you're given a command and when you're just speaking generally. But now that I'm in the game, I can go ahead and start. currently on the Van Houten Vision and LTT 9796. Uh, let's see, do I have any? I do. Emergency power cells. Alright, Verity. Yes, Commander. Open the galaxy map. Galaxy map. Okay, so I was already searching for machinery sources the last time I played. Where is a good source? CD70 1960 looks like it's providing some. CD seventy nineteen sixty. Oops. They export power generators. It might be a good candidate. Both the stations here export power. All right, let's start with the stations because I'm not sure if there's a way to check. commodities market at all. All right, never mind. Exit map. 
Verity. Verity. Yes, Commander. Close map. Closing map. So let's stick with these two. Let's stick with the Coriolis. Close map. Closing map. Close map. Closing map. Okay. Raise landing gear. Landing gear for engaged. You are clear for departure. After burners. After burners engaged. After burners. Go to warp. Engaging jump. Go to warp. Frame shift drive engaging. I selected the station on my way there, right? So it should take me straight there. Yep. So I've also added um, some, well, for lack of a better term, radio stations to the game using lave radio, radio sidewinder, and uh, another uh, uh, online M3U I found for something called Blue Mars. Verity? Yes? Find a local subspace signal. And I messed up there because I said A. Find local subspace signal. Subspace media streaming. Ah, oh, crap. Well, at least I get interdicted to a soundtrack. I have no weapons on this ship, so I'm all about defense. That's why all I have are heat sinks and uh, chaff installed. So right now we're listening to Lave Radio. That's usually the default when it uh, activates the uh, radio. And then it'll randomly pick between the available selections. But again, I've only got three. Find next subspace signal. Scanning now. Playing next entry.
disengage jump drive. Frameshift drive disengaging. Target. Locking target. Afterburners. Request docking bay. Docking bay seven. Watching somebody play this in VR and experiencing it for yourself are still two wildly different things. There is just so much more to the experience than what you see on your 2D screen that you just cannot describe and you will not understand until you've had a chance to feel it for yourself. Lower landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Oh, I missed it. Okay, now in a second, Oscillus. data network. There it goes. So it just sent the uh, commodity data to the ED EDDN network. Uh, for other players to use if they choose. I'm using a application called Trade Dangerous, uh, which is a command line application that is open source. So you can basically configure it to use it the way you want to. So I'm going to give a command to it so that uh, my personal database can be updated. Update network data. Okay, executing now. And I need to add an uh, instruction to that to allow it to refocus on the game after it's done because that launches a Python window that loads m my commodity data from this station into my database, which is basically just the places I've been recently or the places in the surrounding area. Uh, and that way I get fresh data for you know the stuff I'm doing without having to document everything like... Um, most uh, classic elite players used to do uh, without taking advantage of like just everybody's data all the time uh, from the EDDN which I mean there's nothing wrong with that if that adds enjoyment to your game that's great but for me it's a little bit too easy so this way it's kind of a way for me to add some sort of uh, uh, incentive to continue to uh, uh, add variation to my trade runs and those sort of things because I'm not going to find those lucrative deals in my area from the network I'm only sending that data out I'm not using it oh yeah focus game all right all right so I've refueled I came here to find emergency power cells And they need them, but they don't have them. And this is a problem I've been having since I took this quest. <coughs> <coughs> That's another problem with VR. You don't have quick and easy access to the mute button when uh, you have to do stuff like that. So I apologize for that. But like I was saying, emergency paracels. They uh, don't show up on the galaxy map, or at least not in the area I'm in. And so I've been kind of having to uh, guess where they might be based on other st uh, stations and similar industries. And so far I've had no luck. So that's my cross to bear. And I will continue to chase that down. But hopefully this gives you an idea of uh, some of the things you can do with uh, Elite Dangerous in VR above and beyond just the voice packs and 
voice attack by itself, but there's other things like Ocelus and uh, uh, another uh, plugin API for voice attack that I'd like to try that gives you access to more text to speech type stuff like uh, damage reports and uh, other ship status type type things. And I'll put a link to those in the description. Alright, thanks for watching.